Hello guys, welcome back to Kids Coding Playground. So today we're gonna start on something different. Uh, it will not be a game actually. Um, trying to do a uh, a algorithm uh, in Scratch. So uh, you know that in uh, other programming languages, such as Java or Python or any other language, there's a different algorithm. Basically, is a uh, function, a uh, logic that it could solve some problem. So. Um, Similarly, we can also use Scratch to do a certain um, algorithm. So uh, this uh, is a new series I'm doing. It basically, it's a different algorithm that we could implement in other language as well as we can implement it in Scratch. So um, since I don't have too much time to work on a complex project, so I thought of maybe doing some algorithm uh, project for you guys. All right, so uh, let's start with this cat. So today, the algorithm we're working on is a uh, is a prime number. Basically, if you click on the cat, you give him a number, the cat will tell you if it's a prime number or not. Let's say I give it seven, so the cat tell you that seven is a prime number. If I give uh, something, let's say number nine, the cat said it's not a prime number. Since you know the prime number is, you can divide the number can divide by only one. And the uh, num uh, and the number itself in one, so right? that's a prime number. So let's say uh, you don't. Let's say you say fifty-seven. So fifty-seven is not a prime. So um, that means it can divide by three, right? And some other number as well. So uh, let's say uh, I don't know uh, fifty-one. So fifty-one is also not a prime. So you see, I mean that there, there is certain one maybe a prime. Let's say sixty-one. So 61 is a prime number. So it tells you it's a prime number or not. Okay, so we'll work on this project. So let's say new. Okay, so what we need to do first is we're gonna create two variables. So let's make the first one, uh, say index, and then make another one called result. Okay, so we'll make a new block call is prime number and then create a new uh, variable called n so in this uh, prime number we'll start with number two since one is uh, by itself you know that's a prime right so we'll start it at number two so we we'll set the index at two and then we are going to set the result as true okay and then we're going to use a forever loop I hope you guys can see this. And then we are going to use some operator. So we need the O operator. Oops, I forgot the if and else condition. Then we'll put the O if and O operator here. And then we are using less than greater than operator. So we only need to go up to the square root of n. So uh, anything um, after that. Uh, it will actually find a lower prime number dividing that number. So we only need to go up to the square root of n. So what we're going to do is grab this, put this here, get the square root. I hope you guys already learned square root. Uh, so like let's say four, square root of four is two, right that, like, or square root of 25 is five, right? So uh, we only need to go up to the uh, square root of n, and then we're gonna check the index. Okay, and then we also need another one here. If uh, operator equal sign, oops, same thing here. Take this, duplicate, put it here, and then you put the uh, index here. So basically, it's a less than or equal uh, or equal to. Since we don't have uh, sim similar like other application that we have, um, you know, other language, you can do like less than equal to. So we're gonna have to use something like this or join. And then we're gonna check. So um, we wanna make sure that has uh, no zero. So something we have to use is mod. So, um, so this one, let's say you have a number, let's say 10 mod two will give you zero remainder. Basically, mod is the uh, remainder. So if you say three, right, you get one, right? So 10 divided by three, you get remainder one. So this is what mod's for. So we're gonna use the mod to tell if it's have a remainder or not. Okay, so we're gonna say if, 
put this here and then we are going to use the equal and put this over here and then we're going to say this modding the index equals to zero oops don't know why this is keep on running and then we'll say set the result to false so oops where's my mouse going why is my key not working uh oh hold on okay i'm back so i accidentally got the wrong thing as i couldn't set it so not change okay guys got the wrong thing over here so this should be set okay set the result uh, we'll call it false so not a prime because it can be divided by that and then we'll have to stop the script because we have a forever loop right so we have to stop the script um, stop this script put that here okay in the else statement we are going to grab another even else here inside and we're going to use the operator equal and then we're going to take the index here and then grab this end here i hate this thing why is always running so and then we gotta get the similar thing here put it here and then we're going to set this to true stop this guy okay Okay, and then we have to change the index here, change the index by one, put that outside of here. Okay, so what it's going to do is gonna go to the loop, it's gonna try to find the uh, the number that can be divided by this uh, n uh, starting from two, and if it find a mod equal zero, uh, no remainder, then it knows that okay, you can divide by it, then we'll say it's not a uh, prime number. Else, you know, uh, we'll say it's a prime number okay and if it goes up to the n and it cannot find it the index go up to n and cannot find this number then we're going to say this is a prime number and stop the script okay so what we're going to do is we're going to ask the uh, so the cat we're going to come over here so what we're going to do is when the sprite click we're going to go something very simple then we're going to we are going to use the ask function okay type in a number i will tell you if it is a prime number or not okay so this is what the cat gonna say so what we're going to do is gonna drag this we're gonna call the uh, so whenever you type this uh weight the whatever player type it will go to answer so we pass this answer into this prime number and then this is gonna check if it's a prime number or not and then here we can just simply check using an if and else uh, we're gonna check the result I forgot to grab this equal so we're gonna check if the result is true then we will say um, it is or you can say the number also and you can use a join statement right you can use a join statement here and you can uh, uh, put the uh, answer here basically what the user type stop this guy put a space is a prime number then we're gonna duplicate this stop is not or the not capital prime number okay all right so let's save this let's test out the code let's zoom out a little bit so you guys can see the whole code so this is pretty much all the code really simple right and then we're gonna try it out let's see if it works so we're gonna click on the cat then it's gonna ask us is it a prime well pipe in a number well let's say put eight so eight is not a prime number Let's put uh, 11. 11 is a prime number, right? 3. Yeah, 3 is a prime number. 2. 2 is a prime number. Okay, so let's say we put 1, right? It's going to fail, you see? 
one is gonna go oh you see that because it, it couldn't match anything it's starting at two and it could not go go past it keep on continue so what you want to do is probably you know, you're gonna put in a condition here right you know you can do an if and else here right or if doesn't matter you can use if and we can say if uh, I'm not taking care of all kind of condition right it could be many many conditions so it could be very complicated but are we just trying to do a bare minimum right understand prime or not so what we can do is say if n is equal to 1 and we are going to say return true right and stop the script that way it will not go crazy right and also I'm not taking care of like letters right so uh, let's try again so let's say one so one is a prime number right so not valid so if we type in something like this like some letter of junk then it was gonna be a problem also but you can take care of it here like you can check if it if that actually is a number or not if it's not a number you can ask them to type in the number again you can use a repeat until loop to do that but for simplicity's sake, we're not doing all that. So this is just some basic um, algorithm, right? To, to tell if a number is a prime or not. So let's try it again. Let's run it again. So let's say we say, I don't know, uh, 8,654, so not a prime, right? So you can say 53. Yeah, 53 is a prime number. 57 57 not a prime you see so it can be divided by 3 so this is how um, this algorithm works so basically this one just tell is the prime number or not so I hope you guys enjoy this video so um, if you like this uh, um, like algorithm uh, kind of uh, programming uh, pro tutorial I'll create more so uh, for now uh, we'll stop here thank you and have a good day guys bye bye